The last stand for Harley-Davidson's twin cam engine was the 103. And whether you're looking for some big torque, big cubic inches, or whether you just prefer the look of the late model Harley-Davidson's, the twin cam 103 is gonna be your engine. Before we get too far today, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. The twin cam 103 was originally released in 2009 in the touring bikes with 6% more torque than the 96 inch motor. This gave the 103 roughly 96 to 100 foot pounds of torque between 3,000 3,500 RPM. Now the 103 was only available in the touring models until the year 2012. In 2012, every big twin in the line got the 103 with the exception of the Super Glide and the Street Bob. But for the 2015 model year, the Dyna Street Bob finally got the 103, but we no longer had the Super Glide. So in 2012, with the 103 finally in the Dyna and Softail line, the engine had a 9.6 to 1 compression ratio. Supposedly it made 100 foot-pounds of torque at 3,500 RPM. But on average, most Dyna numbers were about 85 horsepower and 95 foot-pounds of torque. Now the 103 basically carried over all the features and updates from the 96 inch engine. So with the 103, they did exactly like they did on the 96. They took the starter and mounted it to the inner primary housing, eliminating the starter jack shaft that the 88 had. The 103 also carried over the internal oil lines between the engine and transmission, so we didn't have the external lines that were on the 88. On the 103, they carried over the lighter pistons and lighter connecting rods, which reduced vibration and increased performance. Whether you see that as a good thing or a bad thing, some people are gonna love it, some people are gonna hate it. And of course, they carried over the hydraulic chain tensioners that were introduced on the 96. Also, all 103s retained the six-speed transmission. Now, why the 103 retained the 4.38 inch stroke that the 96 had they did something a little bit different with the cases. The 103 engine cases were actually bored to accept the 103 cylinder that had the thicker cylinder spigot. And of course the bore, the cylinder bore was 3.875 on the 103 versus the 96's 3.75 inch bore. Now making the case bore larger was by design. With the Screaming Eagle line, you could upgrade this engine to a 110. But when it comes to upgrading it to a 110, you're gonna wanna be all in or not even mess with it. And I'll get into that here in a little bit. As far as performance upgrades go on the 103, things got a little bit muddy. The Stage 3, which traditionally offered bigger bore cylinders, and instead Harley-Davidson decided to take the Stage 3 and build more power through using compression, higher compression pistons and higher lift cams. So let's take a look and see what kind of numbers we can gain with this high compression stage three kit that Harley Davidson is offering for the 103. So our first stage three high compression option for the 103 takes the stock compression from 9.6 to one to 10.5 to one and adds the Screaming Eagle 585 cams. Now, one thing you'll wanna keep in mind with these kits is that if you've got a 103 that's got any miles on it, you're gonna probably have to buy new cylinders. I don't know about you, but I'm not a fan of sticking brand new pistons and rings and some cylinders with some miles on them. The stock horsepower comes in at about 75 horsepower, and our peak torque looks to be about 90 foot-pounds, about 3,500 RPM. Now, after installing the kit, our peak horsepower is going to rise to about, oh, 86, 87 horsepower, and we come in right at about 100 foot-pounds of torque. Now, this is with the Screaming Eagle Street Cannon mufflers if you're staying street legal. Now, if you have a good aftermarket exhaust system, we get a little bit more horsepower, just slightly over 90, about 92, 93 horsepower, and it bumps our torque up to about 110 foot-pounds with a free-flowing exhaust. Now, for you guys with the twin-cooled models, we're looking at about 88 horsepower, just slightly over 100 foot-pounds of torque, probably 101, 102 right in there. So there's some pretty significant gains to be had there just by some cams and upping the compression. And like I mentioned, the only thing I really don't like about that is you're probably gonna to wanna to plan to have to buy some new 103 cylinders if you're going that direction. But there is one stage three kit that does offer cylinders, and that takes your 103 to a 110. And with the price difference, if you were to buy a high compression kit without the cylinders, and then you had to buy new 103 cylinders, it's probably gonna put you in the ballpark of what this 110 kit would actually run you out the door. So let's take a look at the stage three 110 and the power numbers and we'll kind of see how they compare to just a high compression kit with keeping the 103 bore size. Now this is more traditionally what we think of as a stage three. We get the 110 inch cylinders that bolt directly onto your 103 cases. You get a set of Screaming Eagle 585 cams 
and it ups the, ups the compression ratio to 10.2 to 1. Now the graph numbers are giving us here put the stock power range right at 75 horsepower and a little over 90 foot-pounds of torque. Now adding this kit brings us up to roughly about 95 horsepower and about 112 peak foot-pounds of torque. And of course, this is with the Screaming Eagle CVO mufflers, which are the same thing as the Street Cannon mufflers. So if you have an aftermarket exhaust, you could expect to get a little more out of this. Now this kit is quite a bit more expensive at $1849.95. That's almost $900 more than just the high compression kits. But if you do have to buy the 103 cylinders with a high compression kit, you're gonna be in the ballpark of this kit anyhow. So the 110 stage three conversion is a little bit more but if you're having to buy new cylinders for your 103 and it's still a 103, just a high compression one, it might be worth it to go ahead and upgrade to the 110. But if you're done messing around and you wanna get the most power you can out of your 103, it's time to look at the stage four kit. Now, just like the stage three kits, the stage four is a little muddy as well. They have a couple of stage four kits that actually retain the 103 cylinders, but you get CNC ported head. And of course, a little more compression and a more aggressive cam. But let's go ahead and take a look at the high compression stage four kits and let's see what kind of power we can get while retaining the 103 displacement. If you're looking for a street legal stage four kit, this takes your 103, adds the high compression pistons, adds the CNC ported cylinder heads, it ups the compression to 10 and a half to one, you get the 58 millimeter throttle body, and you also get the Screaming Eagle 259E cams. So on this kit, if you're running the air-cooled 103, this is gonna raise your horsepower up to about, oh, 97, 98 horsepower, and roughly about, oh, we'll say 103, 104 foot-pounds of torque. Now for you twin-cooled guys running this kit, this is gonna bring your horsepower up to about 95 horsepower, and peak torque right at about 100 foot-pounds. Those numbers are given to you using the Screaming Eagle mufflers and the Street Legal tune. So if you have an aftermarket exhaust and you're running something like a Power Vision or if you have somebody that can tune with an FP3, you can expect those numbers to be a little bit higher. So Harley-Davidson offers a race use only kit for $19.95, which is the same price and same specs as the Street Legal kit, only this race only kit, it offers these high flow 4.9 gram per second injectors. But this kit is quite a bit of an increase over the street legal kit. We're looking at about 105 horsepower, 108, 109 foot pounds of torque. Now even the street legal kit could probably obtain these numbers with a good tune and with a aftermarket exhaust system. But for the 1995, both kits being the same price, if it were me, I would go ahead and get this race use kit that has the bigger injector. So you can make some real power with a 103, retaining that 103 displacement. The only thing to remember though, is that with these high compression kits, you're probably going to have to buy new 103 cylinders, which is gonna cost you probably another $600. And I'm just throwing out a good ballpark guess if you bought them at a dealership. So now I'm gonna to get to why I said you might wanna be all in if you're gonna to convert to the 110. The 110 kit in the stage three is pretty expensive as it is. But for just a little bit more money, you could go ahead and get the CNC ported heads and get the 110 cylinders and get some big horsepower. So let's go see what that Stage 4 110 kit can do. This is the first option in the Stage 4 kit of converting your 103 to a 110. Now this kit is 2195. The compression ratio is 9.3 to 1. It has the Screaming Eagle 255 cams. And when I show you the horsepower on this, it's a little less than impressive, is that it doesn't have the Screaming Eagle CNC ported heads. What this kit comes with is the Screaming Eagle CVO head. The CVO heads and the Screaming Eagle ported heads, they're not the same. The Screaming Eagle CVO heads do flow better than the stock 103 head, but they're not as good as the ported heads. And I'm gonna show you why here in just a second. This kit's a little less than impressive. From our stock horsepower being at 75, it only brings our horsepower up to about 80 horse. And it takes our torque from a little over 90 foot-pounds of torque up to a flat 100 foot-pounds of torque. And all this is at for $21.95. Now this is the kit why I said you wanna be all in on the 110 or not even mess with it. This is the Screaming Eagle tire shredder kit that takes the 103 to a 110. It has higher compression at 10.2 to one. You get the high flow injectors at 5.3 grams a second you get a more aggressive cam at the Screaming Eagle 259E cam, and you also get the Screaming Eagle CNC ported cylinder heads on it. Now this kit takes you from the 75 horsepower up to a little about 105 horsepower, and your stock torque of about 90 foot-pounds all the way up to almost 110, about 105. 
and this is with the Screaming Eagle Street Cannon muffler. Now, if you're running the race use exhaust, you're looking at about 112 horsepower and roughly about 115 foot-pounds of torque. So there's quite a variety of options out there if you wanna hop up your 103. But that's what I was saying. With the 110 kit, you either wanna be all in or don't even mess with it. Because at 2195 versus 2695, if you're gonna invest in a stage four kit, it's worth the extra money to go ahead and get the tire shredder kit. I wouldn't even mess with the kit that has the, the CVO heads on it. That was barely even a horsepower gain over stock. But guys, used twin cams are everywhere. They command a little bit more money than the 88s and the 96s. If you're looking for the more modern bike, you, want, you like that styling after the Rushmore project in 2014, or you like what they did with the Dyna series, or even if you just like some of the new features that came in the models that had the 103 in it. Expect to pay a little bit more for a 103 since they're a bit newer, but they're still a good motor. They're a good solid engine to run on. And also, if you're buying a used twin cam, 2016 and newer models, they came out with the 103HO, the high output version. This basically just had a little bit more aggressive cam and they went with an open element air cleaner. So anyhow guys, I know it was a long video. I had a lot to cover. I appreciate you sticking with me, but that's all I've got for you this week. You guys stay safe on the streets and I'll catch you guys next week.